Hey, how's it going guys? Yaniv here. And in the past, I've been able to build two Amazon FBA businesses to multiple six figures per year. But today's video is a little bit different. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to start selling on Amazon without a huge upfront investment. And what I mean by that is I'll be able to show you guys how to start on Amazon for less than $100. And if you guys don't believe me, then stick around. Let's get right into it. All right, so you guys are probably thinking, okay, cool. That's a pretty bold statement to start on Amazon for less than $100. And before you call bullshit, guys, let me tell you exactly what I'm talking about, right? I'm not talking about regular Amazon. I'm talking about print on demand. And if you guys don't know what print on demand is, basically it's selling a product without actually having any inventory. It's something that exists and doesn't exist. I mean, until someone actually purchases it. So let's say it's a shirt, someone buys it, it's printed, and then it's shipped out. So you don't have to hold any inventory. You don't have to hold any of that. Now, I know this is not what we're used to here on the channel. It's not FBA per se, right? But let me ask you guys a quick, quick question, okay? If all watching this video did was finally help you get started on Amazon, would that be worth it, right? Ask yourself these questions. If all watching this video did was help you make an extra 500, you know, or a thousand dollars per month, would that be worth it? Or even a hundred dollars per month, would that be worth it, right? If all this is, was help you save to start Amazon FBA, would that be worth watching this video? You know, if you guys can say yes to any of these, then definitely stick around for the video because I think this is pretty worth it. I think this is a pretty good, you know, information to have and it, will definitely help a lot of you guys get started on Amazon. All right, so let's get right into it. There are three steps to success for, you know, print on demand and merch by Amazon, which is step one, what makes a successful print on demand product? What exactly are we looking for here? How do we identify a good one versus a bad one? So there's three particular steps to that. Then step two, how to find and ethically copy proven success. Now, anything in business is copying or ethically copying. In this particular case, we're talking about designs and artwork, which is why we're going to ethically copy this stuff. I'm going to show you guys exactly how so you're not literally copying because I know that's a big, big no, no in the community. And I don't want to encourage that stuff. I want to encourage, you know, original work based on, you know, proven kind of um, kind of artwork. OK, and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So don't get outraged just yet. And then step number three, how to scale a print on demand business, which is a very important thing. And um, it's definitely something that I'll show you guys how to do. So let's get right into it, guys. The first step, which is why do certain products do better than others? Now, there are, there are a few things. So it's niching down versus general. So those are the two options. Okay, you want to go niched or you want to have just a general store where you just sell all kinds of shirt. I'll tell you guys which one's better. Then cross niching product. This is the kind of secret. This is the secret sauce to printing on demand. Not every product will do. You have to cross niche products. And then all about the numbers. It's a numbers game, guys. You just need to have like hundreds and hundreds of products out there um, and hundreds and hundreds of designs. And then it just works, right? Um, I was, I remember I was talking to one of my friends. He has like a thousand um, different products, okay? And, you know, any so any day he makes about 50 to 60, 70 sales, but he has like over a thousand different designs. It's a numbers game. That's just the way it works. So let's talk about cross niching and in particular what I mean by cross niching. In this case, we're talking about this uh, ramen llama thing, okay? If you guys don't know, Ramen is very popular in print on demand and so is actually llamas. So in this case, okay, we got a llama and we got ramen and then you see the llama thing. Okay, this is kind of the designs that we're looking to go for. It's a cross niche of people who like llamas and people who like ramen. And believe it or not, guys, a product like this actually sells. Okay, <laughs> it's because what you want to do in print on demand is you don't want to just be a cat store. Or you just want to have cat stuff or dog stuff or, you know, you want to go in deep, right? You want to have like um, something really, really funny and weird, which is like, let's say, for example, a, a dog drinking coffee or a cat, um, you know, cat unicorn or something like that, right? So you want to find very, very big niches and kind of combine them together and have them super, super targeted and specific. Gone are the days of selling like teacher shirts or, um, or, or nurse shirts. Now you got to combine them and mix them up because, you know, it's much better to find a, 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 you know, a woman who likes cats and also loves yoga. That's where the money is. So you want to niche down and find those kind of really funny, interesting niches because again, guys, it is a numbers game. So I'll get more into detail on that in just a second. So let's move on from this with this step number two, which is how to find and ethically copy, um, you know, proven success. So we're going to go to Amazon to find, you know, this is an Amazon channel. And we're going to use Amazon in particular to find the products because all the data is there. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to find it. Then we're going to go to Pinterest. All right. We're also going to go to Facebook search and the info and ad section, which is an awesome place to go to. And then we're going to go to popular designs as well. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously the Amazon search. And to do that, we're going to need Jungle Scout. We're going to need the Chrome extension and the web app um, to be able to show us, you know, which 
products are making money. That's very, very important. Um, and obviously right now the Chrome extension has currently changed to a annual fee. So $197 or $97 annual fee. And um, this is a recent thing that has happened. But guys, in the link in the description, you'll be able to hit a hit a link there. <laughs> and it'll take you to um, actually, let me show you. So the so link in the description will show you guys. Also, guys, if you didn't know, I have a free training. So check that out. Free training, Amazon training, FBA training. It's a little bit, a little bit different to this, but um, check it out right here. Um, but that's besides the point. There's actually a link down here, um, which will give you a $20 discount. Once you click on it, it'll take you to... A uh, page like this. Okay, it is an affiliate link, so I'm making some money off this, but it's giving you guys a twenty dollars discount, so it's kind of worth. So you click on get the get the the thing now, and you'll see here it's a twenty dollars off, but it's also a lifetime subscription. Now this won't last forever, guys. The link in the description will get you twenty dollars off and a lifetime membership. So pick it up now before it's gone. Hopefully, while you guys are watching it, watching this, it's still active. All right. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into the content. So once you've picked that up, guys, we're going to come in here. We're going to click on keywords, keyword scout, and we're just going to type in, um, in this case, I just wrote t-shirts, but we want to write in like, let's say funny t-shirts. Okay. We're going to click funny t-shirts. And this is what you want to be searching out, funny t-shirts. Um, and then you can see like offensive t-shirts, sarcastic t-shirts, uh, funny math shirts. Okay. And that's what we're going to use. We're going to use keyword scout to be able to find us more keywords within this, within this kind of, um, you know, t-shirt niche. So let's go to funny t-shirts and see what's up here. All these kind of print on demand shirts, right? These are all potentially print on demand shirts. Very simple, very funny, very cool. And we want to actually be able to find um, the winners. What we're going to do here is we're going to open up the jungle scout, which hopefully you guys have picked up by now or already have, which would be good. And this is going to help us, you know, kind of instantly know which products are doing well. Now, funny t-shirt might be a little bit difficult to actually, you know, rank for and sell in because this is a huge keyword. But like I said, we're going to cross niche products and you want to find products that are cross niched Dub Dublin, my vision. Okay. So that's pretty funny. That's pretty good. And it's making $3,000 per month with zero reviews. Here's some more. Okay. Don't know what that is, but you can keep going through these and be able to find huge profit. This, this, this right here is making almost $10,000 per month. It says I'm into fitness fitness taco in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> like, bro, I don't know, but this stuff sells, um, because it's fitness tacos. I don't know. It's funny. It's a joke. Then you want to also go to stuff like, you know, go through here and I'll tell you guys exactly how to, how to make these shirts in just a little bit, but we're going to go through, let's say offensive t-shirts for men. And you can go to sarcastic t-shirts and then we can also up and up like, um, you know, if we go into like the political space, even right, like, you know, it becomes crazy. So Trump 2020, um, F your feelings. Okay. Open that up. Let's see what makes kind of money here and you can see guys okay so this is just proven this is a proven way to find different products now we're ethically copying right i'm going to underline this with ethically copying you don't want to go out there and literally copy a shirt because that's not cool okay that's not okay and there's also copyright laws and stuff like that um to doing that so don't do that but this is just a way to get a you know kind of you know examples of what works so let's say trump 2020 fuck your feelings let's say that actually um you know you want to do something similar to that you want to do something political that you can use these ideas in combination with potentially other ones to make a cool you know trump 2020 shirt maybe that's what sells um and that's what you should be doing right i'm fine i don't know what this is this is funny but similar stuff to this okay don't copy combine and mix ideas all right so that's what i would say now, another thing you can do is actually, let's say we opened up like a good product here. So let's say this one feeling good. All right. So that what we're going to do is we're going to open this guy. Okay. And obviously this guy knows what he's doing and he knows how to make money. So we're going to click right here and it's going to show us all of their storefronts, different things that they're selling. Um, and these are print on demand shirts, guys. These are shirts that like, you know, aren't made until you buy them. So we'll go here. We're going to open the jungle scout and you'll be able to see, look at this guy. He's making 30, $40,000 per month off of shirts that are, you know, well, I mean, they're really, really cheap. So I think they're print on demand. Um, but essentially, guys, you can easily make a print on demand store just like this. Okay. And the way you do it, I don't think I mentioned it, guys, but you just type in merch by Amazon, you have to request, um, you know, being able to sell, you know, print on demand, but it takes a few weeks, and then you'll get accepted to the program. And then you'll be able to make these kind of shirts and do the exact same thing. So that's the first way of doing it. Okay. Amazon searching with jungle scout. It's going to help you guys out. That's probably the best, best way we have to actually be able to verify what sells. 
Another thing we want to do, right? If you want to have some inspiration, let's say you found something that you like on Amazon, but you want to kind of change it up. You want to have more inspiration on creating a more original piece of work. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to go on Pinterest. This is actually a really cool hack for us. So what you're gonna do on Pinterest is just come in here and type in something like coffee shirts like I did. Okay. And you'll be able to go through this stuff and you don't want to just pick out stuff that's like just to do with coffee. Right? Remember I said you want to cross niche stuff. So maybe you want to do like, for example, there's a really good example here that I found which was this coffee shirt. Okay. It's a gun coffee shirt. So this is perfect for people who are, you know, pro gun and also love coffee. Those are cross niches and those are where the profits are made. Okay. So that's one thing. Another thing that I found in this coffee thing was this coffee science nerdy shirt, right? People who love coffee, people who love science, maybe teachers too. It's awesome. It's overall a great, great idea of cross niching. Here's another one, you know, funny one, Nama Slay, um, you know, yoga and I guess like feminism or something like that, right? Um, another one I found here was Lama Stay. This is funny. This is cool. Um, it is, you know, a llama shirt. I don't know. People like llama stuff. Um, with yoga, which is two cross niches, really, really awesome. Um, yoga corn, yoga unicorn. Yes, kind of understand what I'm trying to say. So these are the ones that nowadays in 2019 are actually making the profits. And this is what you want to do as an example to be able to find new and improved, um, you know, designs and stuff. Another thing you guys want to do is when you're actually searching up like coffee shirts or anything like that, you want to be able to ch check what's coming up here, right? It says mom says cute those are the most trending ones and also funny, right? So that's what you want to be, you know, when you're making designs, keep that in mind of who your target market is. The next thing we're going to do is go on to Facebook, right? That was number three. What we're going to do here is just type in a ramen shirt, cat shirt, anything like that. That's where I got this ramen shirt from. Uh, remember at the beginning of the thing, it's like llama and ramen. And you know, this is actually print on demand sh shop here, right? This llama lovers. Um, and that's the whole thing about, you know, niching down. This guy went just llamas and llama lovers. And if we actually go to their page, We'll be able to also check out their info and ad section. So this was, you know, again, it's all llama stuff and it's, I mean, it's pretty jokes. Um, but what we want to do is we want to check out what they're advertising, right? Where they're only going to advertise their most popular designs, right? The most popular designs are the only ones that are worth spending money behind. So if we go to, <clears throat> if we go here, we go to like, let's say the United States and we want to see what they're actually advertising. Here's one thing. Okay this llama lovers and remember this design guys, I have something to show you at the end. You'll understand why I say, remember this design. Um, then you guys are going to see here. Here's another one. Here's another one. These are obviously their best sellers. Otherwise they wouldn't be advertising on them. Um, another thing you can do is you can actually open this up and look at the engagement. So 11 comments, 21 shares, um, you know, pretty decent, not amazing. Uh, let's see this one. 51 shares. That's already better. You want to look at the shares. That's how you know that there's an emotional connection to it. 148 shares. Como se llama. Okay. Like this is the type of stuff that sells. All right. So you can do that to check the engagement and more engagement, you know, the more emotional reaction and probably the more it will sell as well. And lastly, guys, for step two, to actually find profitable designs, we can go to a popular website here, which is um, blog.placeit.net. I'll leave a link in the description, guys. And basically, it shows you the most popular designs for the past week. It's updated every week. You can see here, last updated February 26th. And you can see, you know, all these designs. Again, do not copy them. Use them for ideas. Like right now, we have Easter coming up soon. So people are making Easter designs. This kind of stuff as well here. And then more here from different websites, Teespring. You know, you can see that, you know, these are stuff that just works. And right here, guys, this is potentially the best part about this whole website, which is the word cloud. And basically, if you guys don't know how to how word cloud works, it shows you the biggest trends in, you know, the biggest letter. So in this case, ramen is the biggest, which is why I was searching up ramen stuff. Then you also have like cat, you know, great coffee. So you can do like um, coffee and ramen, maybe cats and ramen, potentially something that could be good. Um, and you can just mix and match these because those are the most trendy things right now. And you with print on a man, you want to stay ahead of the game in terms of the trends. So really quickly, that is how you find and ethically copy these kind of, um, you know, profitable designs. But step 2.5, which we didn't talk about trick to there, it's uh, how do I actually make the shirts, right? You, you know that you found it. How do you actually make it? Now, there's two options for this. There's stock photo website, which I'll show you guys in just a second. And then also there's Fiverr designers. Now we don't have to, you know, go into Fiverr. You guys know exactly what Fiverr is. Go to Fiverr, search up, you know, um, print on demand designs or, or, or t-shirt designs, and then people are going to be able to sell you designs there. One thing to make sure about Fiverr is that 
you make original content because you don't want to get sued afterwards once you start selling stuff. If it's a copyrighted shirt and he just sells it to people, you need to make sure about that. So make sure that you're doing original designs through Fiverr and don't just buy the designs that they have because they might be copyrighted. Now let's go to the stock website I was talking about. You can use anyone, but in particular, I'm using Shutterstock here. And if we just came in here and write uh, Llama, okay? And remember I said, remember that llama picture, because guess what guys, if you come in here and you usually want to click on illustrations because you don't really want pictures, you want, you know, you want illustrations. If you scroll down, okay, we'll be able to find this right here. Does this look familiar to you guys? If we come in here and we go back to this post right here, okay, it's the same design right here and right here. Okay. So basically this person's clearly just coming here and, and actually buying these designs on Shutterstock. You need to buy the, the license to actually be able to sell these things because if you don't, you'll get sued. Um, and make sure that you're actually buying the license to commercial use, not just to personal use because you're selling this stuff. So basically you can come in here and here's another, you know, kind of example of the llama stay thing. I wanted to show you guys in this case, right? Remember we saw the llama stay, which was, let me find it right here. Okay. Let's say we want to sell this. We think this is awesome. We know this is a winner. Here's a awesome way to kind of change that you come in here. It's the same llama stay. It's a different artwork, still a, you know, llama still, whatever it's different. You're not copying it. This is, this is original work. This is different. Okay. And you can actually buy this. Okay. From the artist and be able to use it for yourself. Now also in here, this is cool. You can come in here and you can see more designs. So llama corn, that's also pretty cool. And you can come in here and you can just see different kinds of designs that you can pick up as well. Now this one in particular, okay guys is really cool because print on demand is not only, um, you know, for shirts, you can use it for sweaters. You can use it for mugs. You can use it for, um, you know, pillowcases and, and, and bed sheets and stuff like that. And pillowcases and bed sheets, We'll talk more about that when we scale, but basically stuff like this is amazing for it because you want to use patterns and cool designs that you can use on the bed sheets. And that's really awesome. And that's something you want to actually, um, you know, pick up on as well for the future. And that's how you actually make the shirt. So now we know how to, or rather what makes a good product. Okay. Why certain products sell. We also know, um, how to find profitable products and we also know how to make them. Now the last step is actually how to scale. And what we want to do guys is we want to put out hundreds of designs. Like I mentioned earlier with my friend, you know, you want to have hundreds and hundreds of designs because this is a long-term play in terms of, um, it's just a numbers game, right? You're going to hit, hit some and some aren't going to hit so well, but the beautiful part is you don't really need that much money to get started. Um, I think even less than $50 in some cases you can get started. Then, you know, what you also want to do is start a social media page like that llama, have some sort of niche combo thing that you have. And you'll be able to sell through there as well. If you looked in the, in that llama page, they constantly po post and they grow their audience and they have people buying, you know, every, every time they have new shirts. Um, then also you want to scale, you know, potentially off Amazon into your own website, like a Shopify plus plus printful printful is going to be able to, you know, basically be like, Am like merch by Amazon. They'll be able to do print on demand for you. That way you can actually scale off of Amazon as well with your winning products. And the last thing you want to do is actually start doing Facebook ads the same way that that llama place was making the Facebook ads. You want to do them as well. That way you can grow and scale to different levels. Um, and that's when you actually start investing into your products and start seeing some real, real big returns from those investments. Also, another thing is you want to know how to remember, I mentioned the pillowcases and the shoes and mugs and stuff like that. That's more on the Shopify side and the printful side. And you can definitely do that there as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out this video right here, which is how to actually scale on Amazon FBA from zero to $1,000 per day. That helped a lot of people out. A lot of people like that one, or you can check out this video right here. It is also pretty, pretty awesome. And I will see you guys in the next video.